Earlier this year, I reviewed the first Bomberman, which included the MSX version, also known as Eric and the Floaters. Well, this time I want to review Bomberman 2 on the NES, which was developed and published by Hudson Soft and was originally released in Japan in 1991 and was also released in the United States in 1993. In Europe, the game was known as Dyna Blaster. Now we all know the Bomberman character, or should I say most gamers know Bomberman. He's a classic video game character with a ton of games released over a variety of consoles. Now, the story behind Bomberman 2 goes like this. Bomberman Shiro was walking down the street one day. When he witnessed a robbery, it was Bomberman Kuro being a thief bastard. Bomberman Kuro leaves the money with Bomberman Shiro, framing him, and he has been taken to jail, where he must fight his way out of jail by using bombs. Which really, that's common sense. I mean, what the hell else is he gonna use? His name is Bomberman, for Christ's sakes. Bomberman 2 is quite similar to the first game. Of course, there are some changes, like more one-screen levels rather than scrolling levels, but the goal is the same. You must destroy all the enemies on each level, and then find the exit. Bombing the exit, though, is a very bad idea, because more enemies will show up. Of course, like in the first game, you are able to pick up power-ups that will increase your bomb blast, Bomberman's speed, give you the ability to walk through walls, more bombs to place on the screen, and more. There's also a nice variety of enemies you will find, ranging from those balloon head looking bastards from the first game, along with these blue blob looking enemies, ghost-like enemies, green lizards, or frogs, whatever the hell you want to call them, and more. Now there is a two-player mode with versus mode, as well as a regular mode, and of course battle mode, where you can go against three other players, making it a four-player battle. Of course there is an adapter you will need for your NES to do this. Still, it's pretty damn cool. It can make a lot of fun with friends, and could possibly ruin some friendships, but that's just with people that take games too damn serious. After a certain amount of levels, there is a bonus level where you can try to get more points for your score, which is always nice to have. The graphics for Bomberman 2 are quite good. I think they look better than the first game. More effort went into them, there is more color, which is always nice to see. The sprites look great, from the Bomberman sprite to the enemies. The game doesn't glitch, it runs quite smooth. And one thing I really enjoy is the little cutscenes you will find in this game. From the one at the beginning to some in between levels, I really like that a lot. Bomberman 2 isn't extremely difficult, but you have to kind of keep an eye on things, from enemies, where you place your bombs, and so on, because if you get distracted, it could really screw you over. Also, the timer makes a return, so you have to watch that as well, but for what the game is, I think some might find it to be very easy. The farthest that I've ever gotten was to 3-4. Sure, I died a few times because of my own stupid mistakes, but this game is very much playable to even those that are not very good at video games. The music and sound effects are very well done. The music is great in this game, it is well composed, there are different types of music in this game. There's title screen music, it's not sloppy, and the sound effects are good as well, from the explosion of the bombs and so on. Not a ton of sound effects, but for what they are, I can't complain at all. This is an 8-bit console. It's not going to be full of mind-blowing sound effects like we have today. The controls are good. Moving around is easy. Planting bombs is easy. Using any of the power-ups is quite easy. They don't slow down, and really, if you screw up and run into an enemy or a bomb blast, it's your own fault. At least to me it is. These controls are great, pure and simple. Overall, Bomberman 2 is awesome. The gameplay is great, the graphics are good, the versus and battle modes are awesome if you have friends that want to play multiplayer. The music and sound effects are very well done and the controls are good. This game is better than the first Bomberman. Not saying the first game is awful or anything like that, but this is just a well done sequel. There are a few flaws, but I find them to be very small. And for what the game is, and it's time of release, it's just very well done. If you like Bomberman and haven't played the sequel, check out Bomberman 2. It's very much worth it. Of course, looking at rarityguide.com, Bomberman 2 is a bit rare. 67% rare. Looking at eBay, holy shit, the prices are a bit expensive. $89.99, $79.99, complete in box for $279.99, $299.99, $499.99. But there are two Famicom copies for $22.50 and $16.15. If you have a Famicom or a way to play import NES titles, get it for cheap. If not, you might have to pay a good chunk. But there's also that thing called emulation. Unfortunately, the game hasn't been released on the Wii, Wii U, Virtual Console, or anything like that. Don't know why, but it should be. Because everyone should play Bomberman 2. 
There are a shitload of Bomberman games in the series. Way too many for me to mention, but at a later time I will more than likely review most of them, if not all of them. Especially the arcade versions of games like Atomic Punk and so on, which I have had footage in video blogs before. Well that's it for this review of Bomberman 2. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.